All right, uh, good afternoon, welcome. So this is going to be for you, Leo. All right, this is going to be a past life reading. All right, this isn't gonna be for everybody, all right? I'm gonna try to incorporate more past life reading so I can try to get, you know, more people because obviously not everybody's gonna have the same past life, right? This is general, all right? And if you really feel like pulled to the reading and you wanna know a little more, just put it in, in the comment section, all right? So welcome any newcomers. I do switch things up a lot on my channel. All right, I feel like growth is key. I feel like looking in to our birth charts, ourselves, etc., really helps make sense of things, our life and where we're supposed to be. And our past lives can carry over into our next life. So Leos, this is for you guys. Feel free to hit that like, subscribe and share. And obviously, a big, big shout out to my lovely subscribers. I love you guys. All right, you guys are awesome. I'm thankful for you. I'm glad that you were led to my channel. Let's evolve together. All right? For the Leos. What's going on with the Leos? Evolving is like bliss. I don't know why I felt the need to say that, but I did. So we got the knighthood. Interesting. So you were a knight in a past life. Interesting. Let's see what else comes out here. Karmic relationship. All right. Maybe you struggle in life with relationships in this life because you maybe had a karmic relationship. Well, karmic relationships aren't always bad. And then we got the forgiveness at the bottom here. All right, so what I'm getting here is perfect combination, all right? I feel like you had to take off and go somewhere. And you guys literally rekindled in this lifetime is what I'm getting because it shows forgiveness here all right and there's literally two doves all right there's two people here so whether they were a pilot going off to war um a knight in one life leo you could have been a knight you could have been a pilot i'm getting yeah wow so a karmic relationship I feel like there, obviously forgiveness was good. I mean, not all karmic relationships are toxic, you know. And you could be with that person now because there's forgiveness. Yeah, you guys renewed in this lifetime with the Ace of Wands here. Wow. Yeah, Eight of Cups in the reverse. It's always, to me, a back and forth. You guys are always going to come into one another's lives so far until whatever is the goal, you know, gets met. Then things shift, but karmics can always be with us. Yeah, there was an ending, a tragic one is what I'm getting. Uh, with the Ten of Swords, I feel like communication came in very quick. Your person could have really been uh, killed in a past life. Obviously, with the knighthood, they could have been stabbed with the sword. There are swords here. Or this is you, Ace of Wands, again. Yeah, but renewal begins again. There's just so much here. With that Ace of Wands showing up again, I just see that... You guys, I feel, inspire one another. And there's a strong, like, desire. You can speak of, you know, creation. And then guess what's underneath this? The baby. Yeah. You guys could have had a baby also. When you renewed. But I'm also, I'm really getting that after a 
ending of some sort, whether it was tragic or just an ending in general, you guys renewed this because there's so much lust and love and desire and fiery energy here, Leos. Forgiveness is key to new beginnings, right? We got the Queen of Pentacles here. Yeah, you have a very caring, loving, naturing uh, energy around you and within you here. Um, I feel like you are, were very financially secure. So you were able to make sure your person was uh, financially secure. So let's get an outcome here. I'm kind of... I'll get better as I do more of these. All right, so bear with me, guys. The moon. Yeah, you guys just have this welcoming sense of energy. Two of pentacles in the reverse. But there was an imbalance here. Something was overwhelming, a little disorganized with the two of pentacles here in the reverse could have been some chaos it could have been that you know traumatic ending wow we have the strength your card leo okay so obviously everything that i had said previous can um it's still there right but leo i'm not sure if you win and like you could have maybe cheated on this person in a past life too is kind of what I'm getting. All right. And that could have been some of that. Um, you might have overextended yourself a little too much. All right. But I feel like this is a very forgiving energy also. So because of that devil card here too. Um, but we've got the strength with the six of cups. You guys are a very strong past life connection relationship all right you guys are very strong there's so much here i feel like you're very brave but yeah this is a very powerful uh connection here so that you guys just get pulled together no matter where you're at in the world the four of swords here yeah you provide peace of mind for one another in this worry you help lift the worry because i see the nine of swords in the reverse i see that you guys just hope that you guys can rekindle and um reach out for to one another that's what i'm getting also i feel like you guys just know you know this and you don't even really know you know this. You know, it's one of those things that it just happens. And we don't know and we don't question because we just know it's right. It's a familiar feeling. It's a welcoming energy. Because you guys have had past lives together. You guys could have had ten lives already together. This could be the tenth. Yeah, courage. Courage. A lot of courage here. We saw that with the strength card here. Throat chakra. The aqua marine uh, stone here. So I feel you were very courageous in battle. Whether you died in battle, you were very courageous. Very brave. Very honorable. That's the noble lion within you. Very prideful. And my ears are ringing, so I'm taking that as a, and it's getting louder as a yes. So yeah, like I said, you could have been a pilot in a past life. You could have been a knight. You could have been both. Things change. So you have psychic abilities here. All right. With the third eye chakra. And balance. Yeah, you guys balance one another. Throat and heart chakras. You guys can provide peace of mind for one another. So 
I feel like you might be able to kind of like see things, hear things, just know things, Neos. See what we've got from here, from the birds. Because sometimes when you're courageous, you end up, you know, deceased. So, yeah, I'm getting a vibe that some of you, yeah, did die here. And some of you may have cheated because you like to overextend. Got that devilish energy. So that's all I'm really getting off that devil. Got the bluebird. All right, got the lovely bluebird here. To me, it looks like an Eastern bluebird. You are being gifted with blessings and happiness and peace. Yeah, because you guys look so happy in your past life. I feel like you guys have that too. And then the robin was with that one. New growth and potential is on the horizon. Reach out and embrace it. I feel like you guys are going to continue to like grow. Yeah, you're, and some of you have already, and some of you are going to be entering into this beneficial partnership. Luck and longevity blesses this union. It's because it's a karmic relationship, but not a negative one. All right, pay attention to the important synchronicities, all right? To like the birds, the bluebird, the robin, if you just see them more often, or see them in magazines and billboards, or t-shirts, just random sightings weight of the world boundaries let go it's not yours to carry so don't carry the weight of the world on your shoulders here all right learning to be human in a world that you just feel like you don't fit in your question you need to question everything so that way you can fully align so that way those of you who are not with this person yet can come into alignment okay so i'm going to leave that there feel free to hit that like subscribe and share